So in the last episode, we got ourselves this really amazing saddle for a Tropio out of one of the little Genesis loot boxes, which is just ridiculous. I mean, 500%, I'm pretty sure that's the max because I remember when these things first came out, I was checking them out in single player and I'm pretty sure I couldn't get anything above this. Um, but here, let me let me type in Tropio. We actually already had a really good Tropio saddle in here. 355. Now this thing's terrible compared to this new one that we got. Like this, this is honestly just the most ridiculous one ever. Like I'm, I'm really excited to see how much damage this thing actually does. And I'm also actually kind of curious. We should make a normal Tropio saddle and then use this one and just kind of see the damage uh, output compared to the um, the primitive one. Let's see. So let's just make one of those real quick then. Boom. They're kind of expensive to be honest. So I I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of worried about how many materials I'd actually get out of this if I grinded it up. Obviously, I'm not going to do that, but you know, I'm, I'm a little bit curious though. Um, all right, so we're gonna need a couple things if we want to tame a Tropio here today because obviously, you know, we got the saddle. We need to tame one. So uh, we're gonna head over to Crystal Isles, but first we need to actually start getting going with uh, some ammunition. So we need grenades. Uh, I don't know how many. I definitely have just a few around, but let's see if I can make like 200 of those. Probably can't. Uh, I can make 149. That's not a bad amount. All right, that's good for the moment. Uh, let me quickly just check down here. We definitely have some in one of these vaults here somewhere. Uh, we have five of them in there. Uh, oh, do we have anything in here that we can actually use here today? Yeah, we can probably maybe, maybe let's just take like four of those and then one door. And then I'm gonna have to make the rest of the trap as well. I'm basically gonna be using a pretty simple trap that I've used before in videos. Like it's definitely not the most efficient trap or whatever but it's definitely just the one that you know i'm comfortable with making on the fly real quick so um yeah let me see so we can make 149 plus we have like five so that's what it was like 154 um we're also gonna need some gas as well because these things burn through gas real quick so let me see um undead tesla let us head on over to our little egg fall farm over here which i know i have tons of gas over here um, at some point soon, we're actually going to be switching all of our bases from gas to element as soon as we get that generator, which I think comes from... That's on the Megapithecus boss, right? It's either Megapithecus or Dragon, but I'm pretty sure it's Megapithecus. So whenever we fight that thing, we can get ourselves the, um, the tech generator and just power all of our bases with that stuff. So then after that point, we're just literally going to need gas for whenever we want to use like tools on the Tropio and stuff. Let's see. Yeah, we gotta wait for you to start eating all these guys up or else or else I'm gonna leave and then they're gonna grow up and then they potentially could glitch out and just create a just an awful explosion. Let me actually get in here real quick and just help you out because I can I can do this a little bit quicker than you can. It's really good at his job, this Therizino, but uh definitely a little bit more efficient when I'm helping. Alrighty, well you know what guys, go ahead, do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Really just help me out. I do appreciate it. The support lately has been really good and I've been feeling really good so far this new year. It's a little it's a little bit stressful trying to get all these videos done while also trying to juggle everything else. You know, we just moved into a new house and I haven't even moved over my office and I can't yet. So I have to keep traveling back and forth and it's awful. But uh, yeah, so um, it's uh i don't know it's been kind of stressful but i am having a lot of fun and i'm just trying to uh oh, i was about to jump over that just because the rest of the base isn't loaded um i'm just trying to you know keep keep positive and, and not get too stressed out we're having so many laggities right now do these things continue to craft they did sweet all right so we're almost done here and i probably should grab some more chain bolas uh basically how you tame these things is you gotta you gotta chain bola them and then passively feed them, but you're also probably gonna wanna hurt them a little bit. So maybe I should bring a weapon that's not a super OP weapon, like all of my weapons. So let me let me see if I have something that I could just hit them with just a little bit. Um, because if you if you go ahead and just passively feed them immediately, uh, it takes ages for them to tame up. So you wanna actually hurt them, get them to regen some of their health, which is gonna drop their food. Um, so that's kind of the plan. Let's bring this pistol, actually. I know I have some ammo for it as well. Uh, yeah, right there. Sweet. This is the pistol that we took down that very realistic uh, raider. Um, I still can't believe that people actually thought I was being 100% serious when that happened. Uh, we're going to do some more little storyline bits at some point soon. Please don't take it 100% seriously or think that I'm actually pretending like that's actually happening. I hate that I even have to break the fourth wall and even mention this, but people are really dumb. I don't know. <laughs> like, I could have... I, I thought it was so obvious that it was fake, you know? Like, I mean, come on. 
Ah, so many people were like, this is fake. This is, how dare you? Oh my God, shut up. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I have some stuff in here that I got to put away and I got a couple more things to craft. But uh, I'll see you guys over in Crystal Isles where hopefully we can find a high level one of these dudes. Okay, so we're on Crystal Isles and I kind of wanted to check out the Bloodstalker in this giant uh, biome. It's kind of like a bog, kind of, sort of. Um, yeah, the, the Bloodstalker is obviously a great creature to use on uh, Genesis. But like some other maps, it doesn't really like work very well. But I gotta say in this biome specifically and probably also the floating islands, it works out really well. I like this thing a lot in this biome. I mean, like definitely fun, uh, definitely really useful as well. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this the whole time though, because like obviously trying to find um, Tropios while like, you know, swinging around the place super fast is not really gonna help out a lot. So let me get down here and we'll switch out to Night Owl. Um, ooh, and I want to land right down there. Sweet. All right, so I've got all the stuff on me to make a trap. So when we find a good level Tropio, we can just easily tame it up. Where's Night Owl? Next page. There you are. Cool. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can manage to find a super high level here today. Eventually, we'll do some, like, breeding and mutations and stuff. Uh, I might actually try to use some Tropios against the Desert Titan at some point. I feel like that would be a good idea. Um... We're, we're like a little ways off actually doing that. I haven't even decided when I want to start going over to Genesis and killing some of those bosses. But uh, yeah, when we do, we'll probably end up trying to use the Tropio just a little bit, even though it's going to be super expensive with all those grenades. Anyway, so we could use the, the Snow Owl to uh, hopefully try to spot these guys. The heat vision on these things doesn't really stretch as far as I would like it to, so um, unfortunately, maybe that might not actually be the best idea to do. These things are always like really like colorful, and they kind of stand out just a little bit. And when they actually load in for the first time, they just fall out of the sky as if they were just standing there, which is super strange. There's one right there, actually. Let's see. Let's just fly around these trees. I don't want to get too close to it because they can actually grab you off your mount. And that would be a bad idea. My phone's ringing. Okay, phone call is over. Where did this Tropio go? Was it is it was it a Tropio or was it a Quetzal? Okay, well that's a 168 Quetzal. I don't. I thought I saw a Tropio. Maybe it wasn't a Tropio. Maybe it was a Quetzal that I was looking at. Huh? Was it actually? I gotta take a look back at that footage. I just got like so distracted because my phone just started ringing. God damn it. I hate when that happens. All right, let's see. Yeah, I, I think that might've been a Quetzal. I mean, I don't see a Tropio and there's a Quetzal there. So easily could have gotten mistaken. Uh, that's kind of funny though. All right, whatever. Let's keep looking. Hopefully we can manage to find something here though. Uh, super high level, maybe some good stats. That would be great. Uh, to be honest, like having like melee and stuff doesn't really make much of a difference on this thing. Like it obviously can bite and attack and stuff like that, but your main weapon is going to be, you know, it's going to be the gun on the back. And we already have a really good gun to be putting onto R1. So, yeah, hopefully we can get some good stamina and health on it, though. I remember the stamina on these things uh, being somewhat kind of low. We've got a level 24 up here. Let's go ahead and kill this thing. But we got to watch out. we got to try and kill it quick because it can grab me off my mount. And if it does that, that's going to be terrible. So let me see. Boom. And then again. Oh, no. I didn't hit it twice. I thought I could. Snow Owl's attack speed is not super amazing. All right, let's see. Boom, got it, sweet. All right, and let me try and eat you up. Doesn't really make a difference, but whatever. Uh, so if I see any low levels around, I'll obviously try to hunt them down and kill them um, because then we can promote some high level spawns. That would be cool, but we're gonna have to continue looking around. We also gotta look around at the areas that I've already loaded in with that stupid Bloodstalker. That was a bad idea. Now, like, all of the Tropios in these kind of areas are probably loaded in and fallen to the ground. And now I'm going to have to check the ground, too. So, yeah. Um, anyway, we'll uh, we'll be back in a little bit uh, once we find something to tame. Oh, God, that thing's pretty looking. It's level 72. Um, probably should try and just shoot at this one, to be honest. Don't think I'll be able to kill it quick enough with the Snow Owl. Um, or maybe I can. I don't know. Maybe I'll just shoot at it anyway. All right, never mind. I realized that's gonna probably be super difficult to actually hit, so I'll just uh, I'll just try to kill it this way instead. Okay, one more, one more. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I got it. That was uh, that was kind of close. Fighting on a snow owl is difficult because like their attack speed is super super slow, as you can see. 
and uh, their AoE is not the best. They're really good at freezing things and healing things and flying around and evading, but actually fighting, not so good, especially with something as dangerous as Atropio. Like, that thing would just shred my armor. If that thing grabbed me, I would just probably lose all of my armor. And if I lose my glide suit, then that's going to just be a bad time. Um, anyway, let's see. Hopefully, we can manage to find... Oh, you know what? There's Zenos. We could probably look in here for some... There's Zenos as well. I do have all the stuff on me to actually be able to tame them. Besides the... Do I have... Oh, I have Megatheriums. Okay, I can get some narcotic with those. Or narco berries, whatever. Um, yeah, if I manage to find a super high level one, we can try and tame that too. But, uh, Tropio, we need to find a Tropio. Let me work on that. God, this biome is so beautiful. I'll never get over it. Like, this is probably one of the most beautiful places in pretty much all the arcs. I don't know. I love this place. It's so cool. Oh, my God. Look at all these frogs. There's so many of them. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. There's, like, all terrifying things in there, too. Sarcos, Capros. They, they lure you in with the frogs, and then they're like, no, we got more stuff. Oh, my God. There's berries, too. Wow. Okay. Beautiful, but dangerous like a good woman all right um <laughs> oh, look at this it's so beautiful oh my god i can't get over it all right whatever tropio time we need to find some oh my god it's so beautiful um there you are 174 and it's a nice color actually as well i like that oh dude that thing looks dope i like their little like tiger stripes that's essentially what they have like they they're basically like flying tigers um all right let's see uh where's a good spot to try and tame this we need kind of like a flat spot. Uh, maybe down here, actually. Yeah, this is good. This will work. Uh, is there anything around here? Not really. All right, sweet. Look at this tree. Oh, you can break it. Why does it fall backwards? That doesn't make any sense. What? <laughs> it's like leaning off the edge and it falls backwards this way. Gravity. It's just... It, sometimes it just doesn't work. It's in tech. 2020. Uh, it's 2021. Oop. All right, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we got to place our trap down. We don't really need it to be like super neat or whatever. And I definitely don't need as many gates. I could do it with three, but I'm going to place four anyway. Uh, and then we go ahead and place some... Why can't I see them? Which way are they facing? How do I... Okay, I'm going to have to eyeball this maybe. All right, we're just going to place it like this because uh, I can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. That's fine. I mean, it's going to work, you know. It's going to be fine. So basically, I leave, like, this side looking like this, basically, so you... Oh, my God. It's, like, right there. So you can uh, shoot the chain bola right through. So I can just probably... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to place that right now. Uh, let's actually get a bed down, just because you know what's going to happen. We all know what's going to happen. I'll probably end up dying some somehow. Um, and let's try and get this thing's attention then. So whereabouts is it gone? It was, like, right over there somewhere, right? I don't actually see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. And a boom. Oh, that didn't hit, apparently. There we go. That one hit. All right, so we just got to lead it in and then close it in with a gate behind. <gasps> oh! Oh, God, I almost... <laughs> I backed up into the wrong side. All right, it's fine. We can get this gate down. Oh! Oh, my God! It, it like, glitched right through! Are you kidding? Oh, my God, you ass. Get away. No! Uh-oh. We need to escape. I can't, uh... Oh, this isn't good. Um, we need to get away from it. We need to get Night Owl. Okay, it's still chasing me. Uh... Okay, here we go. Night Owl! No! Save me, Night Owl! Okay, hang on. My god, I completely screwed that up. Oh, it's it's not even coming after me anymore, is it? Or is it going after my trap? Oh my god, it totally is. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you get that trap. Wow, okay, so I screwed that up pretty... Pretty, uh... Poorly, okay. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's see. Let's pick up the skate if I can. Can I? There we go. So yeah, uh, ideally you want to actually trap it in. Unfortunately, I was not able to do that. Uh, can we actually get you to come after me? Hey. Oh, you know what? It might actually get in there by itself. There we go. Sweet. We got it. So, you don't want to get too close to it. Because it can pick you up like it did for me. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to place our chain bola, like, maybe over here. But first, actually, let me just shoot you just a little bit. I don't want to shoot it too much. 
We just want to shoot it enough to make it kind of heal itself. You don't want to hit it in the head because that does a lot of damage. Okay, that's probably... Okay, we'll do one more. That's probably enough. Okay. And then let's place down our chain bola. Right about here. Check those in. And then we just got to shoot it now. Boom. All right. Passive tame it with kibble. And you've got yourself Tropio. Don't want to get too close to its face though because I'm pretty sure it could still hit you. There we go. So... It looks as if its food will probably drop down. Its health is down just a little bit, so we're okay in that front. It might need a second bola. Sometimes you can actually get it tamed up in the first bola, but I feel like we didn't hurt it enough. I was getting too nervous because we've had situations where I've just like full on killed it by accident, you know? So you don't want that to happen. Anyway, uh, we'll just kind of like probably chill here for a little bit until we have it. It's going to take three kibble for me. Um, ooh. Don't want to get too close, remember. Because <laughs> if it grabs me, I'm going to have to screw up the tame. So yeah, we'll just wait a little bit. There we go. All right, can I feed you again? Oh my god, I didn't hurt it enough, clearly. All right, so we're going to have to wait a little bit, obviously. Is it time yet? Is it time? I've already fed it the second time. I'm thinking that it's probably in around here. I actually didn't really see or pay attention to how much food it was down by the second time. But I'm hoping... Yay, there we go. Yeah, don't do it the way I did it. I really regret that. Ah, that's so stupid. Why did I do it that way? I should have just shot it until it was almost dead. I mean, it's better than having to wait around for... I don't even know how long that took. That took ages. I just started watching videos because I just broke my gate. Look what you did, Tropio! You broke my gate! No, that was me. Okay, whatever. Shut up, Tropio. Shut your stupid face. Look at you. <laughs> Great. So I broke my gate. That's cool. Um, if we want to tame another one, we're going to have to make another gate. And hopefully we can actually place the trap properly next time as well. Everything went wrong here today. Um, oh, I already had it. Boom. There we go. Let's pick that up. Sweet. All right. So, Tropio, please tell me that you've got some good stats. Your stamina seems pretty low. 600, I don't know, maybe it already, eh, you know, 33 points isn't the worst, I guess. Um, oh my god, it's got a good amount of weight, 55 points into weight, that's really good. 44 points into health, not too bad, you know, this Tropio, was it worth the wait? Probably not. Oh, I forgot, yeah. Okay, here's the thing that I'm definitely going to get accused of. People are, are sometimes silly enough to think that, uh, you know, tames that don't require saddles were just force tamed, even though I've already shown me doing the actual tame. I just realized we also have the bed here. Boom. Uh, yeah, you actually, you don't need a saddle to ride these things. Completely forgot about that. Let's see how good the the crappy saddle is. Let's uh, just dump that in there. We have some grenades. Boom. All good to go. So how do you start this thing again? I think it's control, right? There we go. And then that's the minimum speed right there. We hold forward. We get a, a bit more speed. We hold, uh, what button is it again? Shift. We get that speed. And then we can have one more a little boost of speed if we're going down or catching drafts from other creatures. So I need to see how much damage this thing can actually do with this base saddle uh, versus my saddle. And we'll try it out with this base saddle first. Let's see. Need to find uh, a ground creature. There's really not that many creatures in this biome. Besides in the water, obviously. Um, yeah, we need to find a ground creature and, uh, and then shoot at its face. Is there anything over here, maybe? Yeah, there's like hardly anything in this biome. It's cool. I mean, like, this would probably be a pretty peaceful place to live. All right, so we've got... Oh, look, we've got a tape jar here as well. We've got a Diplo. Oh, how do you shoot again? What is it, right-click? I think it might be right-click. Boom. All right, it's 135. Not too bad. Let me just double-check that I hit that properly. Um, yeah, 135 again. Let's shoot at it one more time. You can't get headshots on these dudes here, so... Yeah, 135 is how much damage we do with that with that uh, grenade thingy. Um, let me go ahead and swap out the saddles then. Boom. All right. How much damage do I do now? So it's probably going to be like 600. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird. So even though this saddle is five times the damage... It doesn't do five times the damage. That's weird. Why would it be like that? 
so like having a, okay no now i'm doing extra okay so it seems that i'm kind of doing like random damages all right whatever well we're doing a lot of damage is, is the real point oh there we go that's the type of damage i'm looking for i think the way that the grenade hits it needs to like full-on like explode right on the creature um so yeah in that case it wasn't really doing that yeah this is pretty good this is pretty good it's kind of funny how this diplo is just taking it though it like can't even really do anything back to me <laughs> Oh man, all right, let's see. Let's shoot this trike then. Boom. We've got a couple little creatures around here, so. Kind of just shoot at them just a little bit. Uh, the Parasaur is gonna die. Trike is kind of just taking it though. Let's see, how much damage do we do with like normal bites? 66, it's not the worst. Like it's got some pretty good attack speed as well. And the AOE is actually pretty nice. Yeah, look at that, I'm hitting it from all the way back here. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. It's really not. I mean like, it could be a lot worse put it that way what does right click do again it doesn't right click does a grab right i think that's how you grab things there we go yeah look i got what is that a compi oh my god it's like full on in the jaws oh god <laughs> let's bring it out a little adventure i could show you the world copy no, i'm just gonna go ahead and eat him boom oh i did not mean to oh no i didn't do that okay i see what happened we ran out of stam oof all right uh Let's just get him on follow then and glide down to the ground. All right, buddy. Sorry about that. I completely screwed up. Is that okay? That's a tape jar down there. Let's see. Ow. Okay. Ooh, where's my guy? Oh, there it is. You kind of like blend in a little bit. What are you doing? Which way are you flying? Oh, is he stuck on something? Oh, no. You just fell. That is weird. Is there like water hidden there? I know that there's like parts in the floating islands area where there's just like random like water, invisible water that's hidden um, in the air. It's very strange. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, level some stam because clearly we need it. So get two points into that. That's good. Wow, we've already ran through 11 gasoline. It's kind of insane. All right, let's shoot a couple times here. Oh no, it's right click, isn't it? I was hitting left click again. I don't know why. All right, let's see. Let's uh, do a couple of these. Boom. Yeah, I think the closer you are. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. That almost killed my guy. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that was too close. The closer you are, the more damage you do. We got to actually properly test this out, though, like on a Bronto or something. So let me go find something that we can go fight. Uh, or a Quetzal, actually, would be fun. I know Quetzal spawn all over the place in this biome. But yeah, this super, this super OP saddle is obviously going to be really good. Um, for fighting air creatures like the main thing with this is that you oh we've got a drop you right there you're gonna want to try and fight some uh creatures in the air because like i don't know like fighting creatures in the ground is, and everything is it's okay but like you do way more damage to flying creatures because ranged weapons just do that so as you can see we just did a thousand damage to that tropio probably could have been a headshot damage as well and let's fly right by him uses a little draft thing how do we use that again it's space right there we go look at that we had like a little kind of symbol beside the hot bar on the right hand side and then we could do that you can actually even see it as well i love this all right let's uh fly this way and do a little maneuver hitting c boom and then oh i'm too close to him i was gonna try and actually like hit him with the thing when we did that but we're like way too close let me fly a little bit further and then hit C. And then one of these. Yes. Oh my god, 1800 though. Damn. All right, yeah, that's that's pretty good. So Wyverns, uh, potentially the the Desert Titan could be good to fight with this thing. You know, like just there's all these flying creatures. Maybe even the Manticore. I, I wondered, has have people like been using these things on the Manticore? Is it good? I think that arena is probably a little bit too small for this, but... I don't know, like, is this a good creature to use on the Manticore? I need to know. We might need to do that. Um, all right, well, yeah, we gotta we gotta be leveling some stem. And we gotta be healing you because you're actually super hurt right now. Uh, where's Night Owl? Night Owl's on my bar. Okay, I got a little bit worried there for just a split second. Uh, but there we go. Let's see, Night Owl, heal our new little friend. So, what did we call... We, we had a really good name for our Tropio in the Crystal Isles series. I think we called it Jet Ray, right? I like that. Something like that. Or maybe like Maverick as well. I think Maverick is what we called it at one point. 
uh, from Top Gun, obviously. Not that cringe YouTuber. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Boom. I hate the way people, like, I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure when we named our, our Tropio Maverick, people were like, oh my god, you're a fan. I'm like, no, my god, no, it's from Top Gun. What the hell's wrong with you? It's a great movie. All right, let's see. Um, <laughs> do we have any creatures around here? Uh, let's have a little look. Definitely need to find a Quetzal and hunt it down. We could potentially also fight some Wyverns here today, but I don't think that I want to attempt that with the low stand stat that we have right now. If we get in a pinch, it might be too difficult to get away. So maybe at some point we could do that when we have like an imprinted one and maybe some mutations as well, but not today. Uh, let's have a little look though. Can we find a Quetzal? Hey, I found a Quetzal. All right, we've got to gun this thing down. Wait, what level is it? I hope it's a high level. Okay, it's kind of somewhat high. Boom. Just keep chasing it. So that's how much damage that we probably do because we were definitely hitting headshots on the Tropio. I would say and a boom oh no okay so I don't know how much damage we actually do the way that the damage works on this thing is so strange it really is let's just uh shoot there that should hit okay 1300 that's a little bit more than last time let's just cut the engine for a second you see I'm a little bit too fast and I just catch up to it way too fast and then if I do that and then shoot okay so we're just doing more and more damage every single hit I don't understand the rules Boom. Okay, now we did less damage. Okay, yeah. Quetzal's dead. That was awesome. I love these things. Like, they're actually so fun. I think, like, more creatures like this with, like, not tech saddles, but, like, industrial saddles would have been really nice. Like, could you imagine, I don't know, maybe, like, let's think. Maybe, like, a trike with, like, a giant machine gun or something on its back, you know? Because it has, it has, like, the, the crown, the crest, whatever you call it. It has that, and then, you know, you could have, like, a machine gun positioned right above that so you can shoot and also be, like, protected because it's got, like, the really tough uh, head or whatever, you know? Stuff like that would have been really cool to see in Ark, but unfortunately, this is the only one that we have with a saddle like this, you know? All the other cool saddles are all tech saddles, which is definitely not a bad thing. I really like tech saddles, don't get me wrong. I feel like there should be more of them in the game. But some industrial saddles definitely would have been nice to kind of fill that little, like, gap between saddles that are just saddles and saddles that shoot lasers, you know? Uh, definitely would have been nice. But, uh, yeah, let me see. Is there, like, anything else that we can really go fight? I guess we could probably go over here and mess with the wyverns just a little bit because we actually do a lot of damage. So maybe I could try and get some extra levels in the way and, um, and then maybe potentially just level ever everything that we get into stem and then potentially fight around with these dudes just a little oh there's griffins as well we should go to the griffin trench yeah let's go there for some levels that would probably be pretty good because like griffins there's just like ton of them uh i should be able to outrun them as well uh, outfly them whatever um and then also i do that extra damage against them too although i kind of want to kind of want to shoot down at these dudes there's like so many things here i didn't even do any damage at all oh no i did just a little bit wow okay Super amazing. What are these ravagers anyway? I think they are. You know what? It's not even worth fighting them. Like the extra damage boost that you do on flyers is just what you need. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna go fight some flyers. All right, the griffin area is like right around here somewhere, right? I think it's like back here actually. Yeah, this is it, right? I think so. Pretty sure. Yeah, this is it. I like this area, but I feel like Griffins being a very rare thing on Rag versus when you come here, like, why would you even go to Ragnarok for Griffins anymore? Like, look how many there are. If I ever need a Griffin, well, we will be taming a Griffin at some point, but you know, when I want Griffins, I'll just come here. Like, there's so many of them, there's really no point of going to Rag for them at all anymore. Like, <laughs> it was cool because, like, Ragnarok was like their special place. It was the only place to get them, and they're kind of rare and everything, and, and then, you know, they they allow this to to happen and griffins are just no longer rare and rag is no longer special oh hey look a basilisk so they do spawn here i did get a couple comments telling me that they do but then again you know what what do we always say on this channel don't trust the wiki for everything but also don't trust my comment section for everything uh boom and then let's do like a little maneuver here try and kind of get some of them on my tail but not too many of them maybe possibly uh do that boom oh my god yes yeah this is fun i like this 
Boom. Oh my god, what? I just did 2,000 damage to that thing. I don't think you can get headshots on griffins, but maybe you can. I mean, that was a lot of damage, so maybe you can. You probably can. Oh, I've just realized we're not, we don't have that much damage. <gasps> no. Let me go land. Let me go land over here. Boom. Okay, let me get some stand back here. Okay, here we go. Oh, one more thing, because I know people are going to mention it if I don't. Uh, you can grind things up inside of the uh, Tropio. I'm not going to do that, but you can do it. Like, it, it's pretty good. I think it's the exact same efficiency as an actual grinder. So if you don't want to craft a grinder, you could just tame a Tropio and uh, pump weight on it. So you can dump all these super heavy things in and just grind them all up. But um, yeah, it's, it's a feature on the Tropio. I don't really care too much for it but it's there and it's kind of nice i suppose all right let's see shoot these griffins come on griffins chase me no they don't even care never mind all right let's pick some different griffins then we've got we got a couple around here actually you shoot like right there that should hit oh my god that one just obliterated that little griffin oh yeah let's just get a ton of them on our tail <laughs> this is gonna be crazy <laughs> all right here we go how many do i have like none of them are following me are you kidding me i'm like shooting all your friends i'm like world war one uh oh my god fighter planing all your friends and you don't even care oh wow okay so that one's just a weird spaghetti in the sky let's see yeah they don't they don't really care we're doing like a crazy amount of damage to some of these dudes though and it seems like it could kind of just outrun them without actually having to pump any gas in. Okay, so we've got a lot of them on our tail here. Let's do one of these. And then I'm not going to do the maneuver just because it takes too kind of long. I think the, the, uh, the turning radius on that thing is just crazy. So we're just going to like normally kind of turn around here and just shoot at them like that. This is cool though. I really like this creature. You couldn't tell. <laughs> All right, come on. Wonder what type of creature we're gonna get in whatever map we're gonna get this year. I wonder actually if we're gonna get a free map. That's the question. I don't really know what map we would get, and I don't know what map I would want as well. I mean, Olympus is one, but I I did like Olympus, but I don't think it's a super amazing map. So I don't know what sponsored uh, mod map we might potentially get, but or if we even will get one, but I imagine that we probably will. Like they're really pushing hard for keeping people super interested in ARK. Um, you know, like last year, as soon as Genesis came out, they were like, oh, don't worry, we have all these things planned. Like, oh, we have we have um, a new map coming and we also have a TLC coming. And you know, that got everybody super excited. And then the map came out in the summer and then the TLC came out in like November. <laughs> so it was kind of funny, but uh, yeah, they're definitely pushing hard to keep people interested between these DLCs, like, you know, the paid ones, uh, for sure. You can tell. I mean, I don't know if all you guys really noticed that, but I for sure noticed it. Um, I, I'm not going to complain, though. Like, I love new content in ARC, though. It's great. Let's keep all these dudes in our tail. But uh, I definitely think that we're going to get something this year. This year, I just don't know what it's going to be. And I'm also kind of worried that it's going to be a map that I'm not going to enjoy super. <gasps> Oh, that was a dumb shot. Why did I take that one? Oh, that one really hurt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a bad shot. Shouldn't have done that one. Uh, we're also good on stand right now. I wonder, can I hit to shoot the grenade and then immediately do one of these maneuvers? Eh, that's actually not too bad. We could do that and then just, you know, do a maneuver to get the distance again. Yeah, this is pretty good. I think I actually used to do something like that. All right, let's uh, land down, and then there's actually a Blood Wyvern over there that we can go and kill. We should be able to kill it at least. Let's land down, apply our levels, and get this thing healed. Night Owl's on our bar again. Boom. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Now I can ride. Okay. Oh, we should totally kill this moth. <laughs> it didn't even do... Oh no! Am I slowed? Oh wow, yeah, look at that. I'm completely slowed. Okay. Gotta wait for that to get away. Oh, that is that draining my stam a lot, actually? I think that might have been. Oh no, I don't want to land here. That... <gasps> oh my god! I dismounted at the perfect time right there. That would have been really bad. That's actually... I forgot about that. That's a weird bug with these dudes. 
Uh, sometimes they just they go to land and then you can't stop them from landing even if they're falling in the air yeah you gotta watch out for that for sure um god that was kind of scary all right so we have a blood crystal wyvern air over here these are the dudes that you can steal the eggs from let's just start shooting just a little we're gonna have to probably like release it from its little prison here we didn't even hit it once amazing oh my god it's fast I forgot how fast they were uh oh am i actually gonna be able to outrun this do they make these things faster they definitely seem faster or maybe it's not i don't know i like these things though really wish we could get that little like crystal crown thing on our crystal wyverns that we can tame let's do one of these nope that gets me way too close all right maybe it doesn't actually we could do that yeah yeah that's perfect actually look at that freaking crazy breath on it we got it killed sweet all right, let's actually try and grab its claw because... Uh, oh, wait, do these ones have the claws? I think these ones also drop the claws, right? I think all of them do. Let's see. What do you drop? Oh, we've got a Carno here. Oh, yeah, look. New Carno texture. Super amazing. Uh, we've got something on the ground anyway to grab. Uh, you know what? That's probably not worth getting mauled by Carnos. So, never mind. Oh, great. No. Okay. I thought we wouldn't have a choice there for a second because we were kind of trapped. Boom. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked, Archie. All right. Boom. You know, they could have turned that Griffin Trench into an Archie Trench. That actually wouldn't have been too bad. Like, I do like the Griffin area, but, you know, it just definitely makes Ragnarok Griffins pointless. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that freaking damage. <laughs> All right. So maybe we can go and fight some more Crystal Wyverns. We should definitely get some stam first, though. Gotta not be too risky, though. We gotta steal some eggs at some point soon. I know people have been, like, begging me over and over. Like, every single video I see comments saying, oh, please tame some griff or tame some wyverns and, and, like, breed them and everything. Like, don't worry. I totally plan on doing that. Um, maybe we could do it soon, because I do actually... I've had a really cool thumbnail made for ages now. I want to say I've had this thing made for three months, and I really want to use it, and I'm super excited to use it. So maybe we'll do that soon. Um, there's no nest right there. If there had to be in a nest, I totally would have grabbed an egg. But this is one of the spots where you can find them. And there is no nest right now. Oh, look, acros. Yeah, we got to tame some acros at some point soon as well. Oh, actually, one thing I wanted to mention is in the next episode, I think we're probably going to actually go for the broodmother. Uh, we're going to try and kill her. But first, oh, look, we got a crystal wyvern over here. But first, we need to grab all those artifacts. And I was kind of thinking, you know, we could probably just grab them over here. That way, we wouldn't have to do any, like, water caves or anything like that. We can easily farm the artifacts, you know? So, I might end up doing that over here. Because, like, I'm pretty sure all of the artifacts that we need spawn on this map. Uh, so, yeah, we might do that. This one's not so easy to fight because he's just completely dedicated to, dedicated to this Parasaur. Or Parasaur. Can't even hit it right now. There we go. I hit it a little bit. Is it going to aggro onto me now? We just killed the Parser. There we go. You're wrecked. I stole your kill. All right. Come on. Fight me now. Come on. Oh, I'm dehydrated. There you go. Oh, oh my God. I didn't realize it was following me. Okay. <laughs> that could have been bad. That could have been so bad. All right. We need to gain some distance on it for sure. Then we're gonna turn, get one of these in, and then hit that immediately. And oh god, that's terrifying. Oh, that hurt a lot. No, that was too close. That was a little. Oh, that that was a dumb shot. Why did I take that one? That one was way too close. Okay, we need to gain some more distance on it. Let's go down. Okay, and then. I thought that would hit. It didn't, though. Oh, no, no. Oh, crap. Yeah, we need to gain a lot of distance on it. Okay. We actually have some good distance right now. I don't know if it's a good time, though. I definitely can't end up shooting myself just a little bit. Because that would probably end up killing my dude. We're already really low. Oh, we got it. Oh, my God, dude. That was a crazy high level. Oh, wow, okay. That would have been nice to tame. I think, what is the max level for these dudes? I think it's actually 270 is the max level for these ones. Which is really ridiculous when you think about it. Uh, 
Uh, max level on my server, by the way, not like in general. Um, well, I guess we can show off the arrows being grinded up. Let's grab these out and chuck in those arrows wherever they landed. There they are. Boom. So we could just click that and, and grind one or 19. So let's grind one. Boom. <laughs> and then let's grind the rest. Cool. So yeah, it's kind of trolly actually because you could easily just like kill somebody in PvP and then take all their stuff and just grind it all up and then, you know. Yeah, I, I imagine probably people probably do that all the time. <laughs> I would hate that. That just sounds awful. All right. Well, you know what, guys? That is going to be it for today. We have our little fighter plane. I don't know what we're going to call it. Maybe leave some name suggestions down below. When we have our main one, maybe we can call that one Maverick. That's like the perfect name for something like this, a little fighter plane. But uh, yeah, that is it for today. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next one.